Lord, and today as we are hired to have our application of the Lord in place before you, and we are just going to start that our application will once again, investment and once again on the table of application. My Lord said, my lady. So we are asking with the kind of indulgence if you would please at least allow us time, my Lord and my lady, for our application to be consolidated and heard together with the other applications that are being heard today. For the 15th Joseph Party in 15, can I just be heard for one minute only? <coughs> and I want to address ask an important question. How do we move forward? Now, the paradox as I got it, because I don't make speeches, is that my colleagues accused this side of making speeches, and in the process they made speeches. <laughs> having said that, having said that, my Lord, an issue has arisen following disclosures by my Lord Justice Brema about how this thing has been constituted. You, it's now apparent that uh, the petitioner and the, fifth, the, the first interested party in Petition 15 have an issue with that. We suggest that we be given time to file a formal application. It could not have been filed earlier because the disclosure has been made here. And since that issue goes to the core of your capacity, it ought to be resolved preliminarily, whether you have been properly empaneled is the most preliminary of preliminary issues. We add that you give direction of the nature of a timeline when that application will be filed, a timeline when responses will be filed, then give us a return date to come and kind of ask that application on whether you are properly constituted. Because if it turns out that you are improperly constituted, even the issue of recusal becomes secondary. But if it comes out that they, you are properly constituted, then the, sec the issue of recusal now follows. I add that if we follow that route, in accordance with my teacher's guide and Professor Gideon Mwigai, there will be greater order and coherence. And I thank you. Is that an adjournment? Is that, is that boy applying for an adjournment? Because he's saying, and perhaps he's wrong, that even the recusal application comes after the termination of the question when panel. If that be so, and they may leave, they, 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 they normally leave court, they may leave, they left the uh, Senate, may leave court. We let them say whether well, they are going to do it. Is that, um, is that the mark, they normally leave court, where they left Senate, my palatable uh, in this court, my lord? I mean, that no, because this is a majority. No, no, is that the mark, palatable before my lord and my lady? But because, you know, we, we have declared about them, but if you have a professor of law, Misbehaving at the bar, <laughs> the <demand. laughs> I'm urging that you direct that that remark will be withdrawn first, then we make progress. I'm urging, my lord, the remark was made in your presence. I'm urging it will be withdrawn first, then I can respond. My lord, I have no problem with withdrawing the remark, but the point is, it is a vain application for adjournment. Because Mr. Wall is saying that the court must address the question of impediment before the recusal. Why can't you just get to the point? I have, I am answered your question now, but I know that he has withdrawn. He said he has no problem with the drawing, but he did withdraw. I want him to withdraw first, my lord, because I'm entirely ridiculous. Lawyer, I have no problem with withdrawing. You're my friend, but... No, I have no problem, my lord. I withdraw the remark, Thank but... You so Thank you. Please practice. Thank you. Let me now address the question. As I guess. <laughs> uh, my, my, my lord, I think the professor was my teacher and my mentor of many years. I have no disrespect for him. I just have my own dignity asserted because I can't protect my client's dignity if my own is in question. But having said that, um, my Lord Judge Brima, you are a witness that the issue of how this bench was empaneled has been disclosed here when we are here. We have raised concerns to Lanet's colleagues, uh, Peter Mungai, and Lanet colleague, Mr. Njeru, uh, Mr. Ndegwa, that we now want to take that as an issue. My colleagues have rightfully submitted that that matter requires a substantive application. Rightly, we agree with them fully. But you agree with me that if you are improperly constituted, then you cannot make one more step. Is that in that request that my Lord Jan Grima asked, how do we move forward? I also had my learned uh, mentor, Professor Kidumwega, again asked,